Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello. teacher. Hello. How was your day today? A nice day, very, very good tired. day, very tired day, a tired day. And Elena and Elizabeth, how was your day today? Nice teacher. Ah, it was nice. Excellent. Uh, hard, it was hard. hard. Yes, oh, busy. It was a very busy day. Un día muy busy. ocupado. It was a busy day. Uh, okay, and how are you tonight? How are you tonight? How do you feel tonight? Are you happy? Are you angry? Are you sad? Eh, hungry. Tengo hambre. <laughs> ah, okay, you are hungry. Estoy, estoy cocinando apenas. Oh, my God. So you are going to have a dinner very late tonight. Okay, enjoy your food. And Claudia, how do you feel tonight? Very well, teacher. Okay, excellent. She is very well. Very good. And so, Beida, how do you feel tonight? I I feel tired. Oh, she and, feels she feels tired and yes, and I am hungry. Okay, she is hungry too. Tal vez Elena yes. puede puede invitarle ahí algo. Que no colabore, vea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Puede invitarle del quise que está haciendo. Okay, so welcome to the class. It's nice to see you. Uh, probably today you are going to be a few students because the our national team is playing a soccer match versus Panama, I guess. So yeah, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but they are winning now. They are winning. Uno a cero. They are winning. Bueno. It's a miracle, right? So do you believe in miracles? You can see one tonight with our selection. The meaning of miracle? Un milagro. Milagro? Yes. The meaning of? Miracle, milagro. Ah, ah. thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, can you please tell me if you have already taken the meter test? ¿Quién ya hizo el examen, el meter exam? ¿Quién ya lo resolvió? Yo, yo ya lo resolví, teacher. Okay, Ana María, and... Me, teacher, Claudia. Oh, Me, teacher. Claudia, Catherine, too. Yo, teacher. Cynthia, okay. Cynthia has already taken the test. Anybody? Okay, so tonight we're going to study with, uh, let's see, a feedback of this, the meter test. So let me show you this. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you see my screen? Yes, it Yes, okay, thanks a lot. Sure. Okay, so look at this. This is the meter test, the meter exam. And it starts with a listening part. It starts with the listening. So you have to play this audio and you're going to listen three, three small conversation three small conversation and according to those conversations, you have to choose the correct answer here. So Mar is going to be 13 years old, 30 years old or 33 years old. 
they are going to have a party on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, let's see, number three, they are going to have the party, dance, sing songs, or watch television. So according to the reading passage, you are going to answer these three questions. That is the first part of the midterm exam. So let's see the second part. The second part is matching, match the question with the answer. You have to read here the question and you have to choose here the answers. Uh, this is a yes, no question. Are we going to work this weekend? So you are going to choose the correct answer in this. You have six options. Yes, I am going to go swimming. No, it's not, it's going to be cloudy. No, we're not, we're going to relax. Yes, they are, they are going to make pasta. Yes, he is, he's going to visit his parent. And no, they aren't, they are going to have a party. So you can find here the right answer for this question. And so you are going to do in this other one, you are going to do the same, read the question and choose the answer. You are three, four, five, six, six questions in this part. So you just have to read here and choose the right answer in this part. Let's see the next. In the exercise C, or third exercise, you are going to have this exercise. It's a let WH question to complete the conversation. So information question, right? But at this time, you have to choose the right question. You are going to have here the answer and you are going to look for the question. What is the right question? Y ya tenemos acá dada la respuesta y tenemos que ir buscando cuál es, what is the right question. Cuál es la pregunta correcta para cada una de estas respuestas. And you have one, two, three, four, four exercises, four items in this part. And then in the part D, you are going to find this. Complete the conversation. You have to complete the conversation. Completar las pequeñas conversaciones. So you are going to choose here the option to complete this question. It's fill, get, or have. And you are going to choose the correct one. And, and then you go to B. And it says this pill. So drink, eat, or take. So they are talking about common illnesses and we study that and also about um, imperative sentences, given advices. So you are going to choose that part in this exercise to complete this part. And at the end you have this, usted tenía este ejercicio, home remedies. It's a reading, it's a reading part. So do home remedies really work? Many people say, yes, try these simple home remedies. And that is the, that is the midterm test. So do you have any question about these questions? Is there a question about the midterm exam? No teacher. No, okay. no teacher, thank you. Ok, uh, para los que no lo, hace, no lo han hecho, ¿verdad? O, o hasta hoy teníamos ¿verdad? para realizar este examen, para llegar a la mitad del curso. Esta es la mitad del curso y tienen que hacer este examen. Para sí, que... yo, no lo, yo no lo he hecho. Este, si no lo logro hacer ahora, me saco mal la tata. Este, no se preocupe, ¿verdad? La fecha es solo para que usted lleve... <coughs> Eh, para que no se le vaya acumulando. ¿verdad? Para eso es la fecha. Ah, para okay. que no, no es que si lo hace después ya no le va a aceptar la nota o, o ya no lo puede hacer. No, ¿verdad? Es para que no se le vaya acumulando el trabajo. Ah, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Que yo por cuestiones de trabajo no, no he podido. Y okay. he estado viviendo algo noche. Ok, so no problem. We understand. Don't worry about yeah. that. Las fechas son solo para que no se le vaya acumulando el trabajo. Y al final usted no tenga que hacer todo de carrera solo para llenar la plataforma. So let's start then with this.
Okay, so midterm exam feedback. We're going to have a feedback of this midterm test. So welcome to your class number eight. And let's go with this. So look at this small conversation. We are going to listen and we are going to practice this, right? Okay, let's go. So uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. One. Are you going to do anything special? Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, excellent. So listen, this is yes. my conversation. Okay, here we go. Listen. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. Okay, what are they talking about in this small conversation? What are they talking about? About a birthday, about an illnesses? What are they talking about? Growing. Eh, growing up. Oh, growing up is crecer. Growing up. Crecer. Uh, thank you. Growing up. Yes, growing up is crecer. Any other question? Any other word that you don't know in this small conversation? If not, let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation, please. And then we are going to have a practice with this. So here we go. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. Okay. Pretty good. So are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old <laughs> is he going to be? He is going to be 13. 13. He is growing up. Yes, he is going to go on a high school next year. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice? Anna, Catherine. Okay, just a second. I'm going to share it with you in a minute. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share my screen again with you. Yeah, it's a second. No, no, deme un segundo. So, ya les comparto la pantalla. Okay, can you see it now? Can you see the screen? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. Okay, you can start, please. I'm sorry. Are you going to Are do going special <laughs> this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he is going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He is growing up. Yes, he's going to work on high school next year. Okay, excellent job. Thanks a lot. So, which tense are we talking about? ¿De qué tiempo estamos hablando acá? Is it present, future, or past? Futuro. Future. Oh, future. these are future sentences. Okay, excellent. Any two volunteers to practice this small conversation, please? Mm -hmm. Uh, Nayansi and Soveida. <laughs> okay, uh, can you please start, Anna? Are you going to do anything special 
this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark fair date. All right. How old is he going to be? He is going to be 13. 13. Hey. He's growing. Growing? Growing up? Yes, he is going to go on a high school next year. Thank you very much. So growing up, growing up. That is okay. the right growing pronunciation. Up. Yes, That's growing up. Okay, thanks to you. Thank you for your participation. You did an excellent job. Let's see, let's see another. Uh, yes, the same. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Okay, let's listen to the second part of this conversation. Let's listen to the second part. This is the second part of the same conversation. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Okay. It says, so what, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend, on Saturday or Sunday. On Sunday, everybody can come that day. Question, new vocabulary in this conversation? No new vocabulary, then I need to volunteer who wants to practice in this conversation. Say me and your name, please. Me, teacher, Maria Luz. Yvonne. Thank, thank you, Maria Luz and Yvonne. Yvonne, can you please start? Okay. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Maria. Ah, excuse me. Um, terrific. No, well, his birthday is on Friday, but we are going to have the party on, on Saturday or Sunday. On Sunday, everybody can come that day. Thank you very much, everybody. Everybody came come that day, but you are saying going to, and in the listening, they say gonna. So listen again. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Um, ¿Cómo se traduciría allí? Everybody can come that day. Oh, everybody can come that day. Todos pueden venir ese día. On Sunday, everybody uh, can come that day. Comes? Sería come. como puede. Venir. El verbo venir. Be come. Come. Y come? Can. Pueden. Poder. Can. Puede. Ah, thank you. Okay. So, listen the pronunciation. They say, gonna, gonna. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have... Okay, so gonna. To volunteers to practice using the sound gonna instead of going to in this conversation. By the way, this is the listening of the midterm test. This is the listening you are going to find in the midterm test exam. So is it good for you to practice? 
is it is good for you to practice this. Uh, any volunteer to practice this small conversation? Yeah, teacher. Is, say Brenda. your name, please, Brenda and. Yo, teacher, Sara. Okay, Brenda and Sara, can you please start, Brenda? Remember to use gonna sound. Uh, so what are you gonna do your first yo <laughs> voy a empezar otra vez uh, okay. so what are you uh, so what are you uh, gonna do for his birthday we are going to have a party for him we are gonna have a party for him continue terrific uh, when are you gonna do gonna have it well his birthday his birthday is on Friday, but we are going to have the party on the weekend. Continue, on Saturday, please. on Sunday. On Sunday, yeah. everybody can, can come that day. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So remember that going to, you can change this sound going to by gonna when you are speaking. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We are going to have a party for him. Uh, when are you going to have it? When are you going to have it? Uh, we are going to have the party on the weekend. So let's listen to the last, the last part. Are you going to do anything special? the last part of this conversation here we go listen three what kind of party are you gonna have oh well we're gonna have a karaoke party a what you know karaoke people stand up and sing songs the music is on a cd and the words are on television i see so mark likes karaoke he loves it Okay, so what kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we are going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on the television. I see. So Marx like karaoke. He loves it. He loves it. So to volunteers to practice this small conversation, don't forget to use the sound gonna. Ana Yancy and Catherine. Okay, Catherine, can you please start? What kind of party are you at gonna Fine. have? A what? You know, karaoke. People start and uh, sing a song. The music is on CD and the world are on the television. I see. So Mars like karaoke? He loves it. Thank you very much. So Thank you, you did an excellent job in this part. So what kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we are going to have a karaoke party. A what? Do you know a karaoke? Do you like karaoke? Les gusta el karaoke? ¿Quién ya participado en eso? Yes, I like. <laughs> yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Is it, is it fun? Is it funny? Es divertido? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're good then. So let's continue with this. One. Bueno, no se les olvide. This is the listening del meter exam. So it's going to be useful. So now let's see listening conversation practice. You are going to find this kind of question in the meter test in the second exercise. Uh, they are yes, no question with going to. So are you going to have a Christmas party? If the circle is green, it is a positive answer and the circle is blue, it's a negative answer. So what is the 
positive answer for this question. Are you going to have a Christmas party? Yes, I am. Okay, so Aida, excellent. Yes, I am. That is the right answer. Number two, is she going to buy presents for her family? It's a negative answer. Not I am. No, she not. No, she not. She's not. She is. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, no problem. Don't worry about that mistake. So is no, she is not. Oh, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Number three, are they going to go to a birthday party? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That's the right answer. Thank you. And number four, is he going to decorate a Christmas tree? The answer no, is he's not. No, he's not. He isn't. He isn't. No, he is not. No, he isn't. Very good. Is he going to decorate a Christmas tree? And you say, no, he isn't. Number five, are we going to buy five crackers? Yes, yes we, are. we are. Oh, yes, we are, right? Do you like five crackers? Do you like five crackers? Five crackers. Oh. Cuetes, cuetes. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Ah, okay. Like. Okay, some people like, some others say no, right? Uh, is it going to be fun? Uh, talking about Christmas, is it going to be fun? No, it's no, it's, no it it's, isn't. It's, no, it isn't. Okay, so yes, no question. We answer in this way. Are you going to have a Christmas party? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Is she going to buy presents for her family? Uh, no, she isn't, or oh, yes, she is. Are they going to go to a birthday party? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is he going to decorate a Christmas tree? Yes, he is, or oh, no, he isn't. Are we going to buy firecrackers? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Is it going to be fun? Yes. Yes, it is, or oh, no, it isn't. So just no question. Then in the next exercise, you're going to find some like this one, information questions. In this type of question, you have to give information. So let's see, for example, what are you going to do next weekend? So you can't answer yes, not. You have to give information. What are you going to do next weekend? So you have to give some information. Las actividades que va a ser el próximo fin de semana. Any volunteer to answer this question? What are you going to do next weekend? I am, I am going to visit my family. Okay, excellent. I'm going to visit my family, yes. That is a nice question. Any other answer? What are you going to do next weekend? I am going to go to the cinema. Yes, excellent. I'm going to go to the cinema. Thank you. And the last one. Any other answer? What are you going to do next weekend? I am going to help my daughter with here, class, class. Okay, I'm going to help. go with my daughter. I'm going to help my daughter with her classes or with her homework. Con su tarea. So, when are you uh, going? Class. class. English oh. class. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> with her English class. Thank you. When are you going to go to the park? So, look at this. When? This is asking for time. Cuando, when are you going to go to the park? When are you I'm, going to go to the park? I am going to go to the park on Sunday. Excellent, excellent answer. I am going to go to the park next Sunday. Any other answer? When are you going to go to the park? I am going to go to the park at 
6 a.m. every day. Okay, in this case, when you use every day, it's simple present, porque es una actividad que hace todos los días. And you say, I go. I go to the park every day at 6 p.m. So oh. it, it's simple present. And when you say, I'm going to go to the park tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. So that's future. Thank you very much. So let's go with the next one. Why are you going to do exercise? Why are you going to do exercise? ¿Para qué vas a hacer ejercicio? ¿Para qué va a hacer ejercicio? I am going to, to relax. Okay, so I'm going to do exercise because I, I want to relax. Because I want to. I am going to go. I am going to like. Ah, okay, I'm going to do exercise because I like it. Porque me gusta. I'm going to do exercise because I want to get in shape. Porque quiero estar en forma. I'm going to do exercise because I want to lose weight. Porque quiero perder peso. Yes. Teacher, how do you say um, because salud? How oh, because I want to be healthy. I A want health. to be healthy, yes. Because I want to be healthy. Because um, it is going to be fun. Porque va a ser divertido. Because it is going to be healthy. Porque va a ser saludable. So why? It's asking for a reason. Yes? En esa, en esa respuesta, primero tiene que decirse eh, la, la oración nuevamente y después because. O solo se puede contestar because. You can answer yes because. Um, okay, thanks. Okay, no problem. So where are you going to celebrate your birthday? This is asking for a place. Donde? Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? And you say, I'm going to celebrate my birthday uh, at my house, at a restaurant, at the beach, at the park. I don't know right where. It is asking for a place. And the last one, who are you going to invite to your birthday party? This is asking for person, right? for people. For a person of people, who are you going to invite to your birthday party? ¿A quién va a invitar usted a su fiesta de cumpleaños? So, any volunteer to answer this? Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? Your next birthday? I am going to the mountain. Okay, excellent. I'm going, I'm going to celebrate my next birthday on the mountain. Or up the mountain. At, at the, the mountain. Yes. Excellent. Any other answer? What are I'm going to, going to celebrate going to... my birthday Albania. Okay. In Albania. Uh, at Albania. Okay. Very good. At. Okay. Yes. At. And the last question. Who are you going to invite to your birthday party? Quien? Quienes van a ser los invitados? My family. My family. Ah, okay, My then. Family and friends. Okay, excellent. So I am going to invite my family and friends. Very good. So remember this um, information question. Cuando vean una pregunta que lleve estas palabras, what, when, why, where, and who, you have to get information. Information. And you are going to find this question in the midterm exam. And finally, oh, you're going to look at this. Do you remember this expression? How are you? What's the meaning of that expression? Um, how are you? How are you? Bye. Ah, okay. 
¿Cómo estás? ¿Verdad? That is the meaning of that. And you say, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm terrific, I'm excellent, I'm, I'm funny. okay. Yes. Uh, how do you feel is the other question. How do you feel? And you say, I feel good. I feel excellent. I feel nervous. I feel angry. Como se siente? And then we study this, what's wrong and what's the matter. Cuando una persona dice, me siento mal, me siento enfermo. I feel bad, I'm sick. So what's wrong, what's the matter? Do you remember these two questions? What is the meaning of these two questions? What's wrong and what's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? Okay, excellent. ¿Cuál es el problema? And then we answer this. I don't feel well. Not so good. I have a headache. I have sore eyes. So to this question, you say, how do you feel? I don't feel well. No me siento bien. How are you? Not so good. Then you answer, what's wrong? Or what's the matter? And other people say, I have a headache. I have sore eyes. And then you give some advices using imperative sentences. Take an aspirin, put eye drops, don't watch TV or don't touch your eyes, for example. So you use these imperative sentences. So don't forget about this. You are going to find some exercise on the midterm test like this one, like similar to this. So let's go with next team. And finally, you are going to find this reading passage in the midterm test. Do you have any question about vocabulary? It says, harm remedies. What is the meaning of the title of this reading? Harm remedies? Remedios caseros. Yes, en salud, remedios caseros. ¿Conocen algunos ustedes? Yes. Yes. Es un ajo para la presión. Ah, ok, excelente. Un ajo para la presión. El té de, de naranja agrio para los nervios. Ok, el té de naranja para los naranja agria, ¿verdad? Sí, la, la de las hojas, mejor dicho. Ok, excelente. Any other? Any other home remedy that you know? Té de jengibre con manzanilla y limón y miel para la tos. Ok, excelente. Bicarbonato y limón para el dolor de estómago. Ah, does it work? Orégano con, orégano con canela para los cólicos menstruales. Ok, very good. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Any other? And okay, let's read about this. Do home remedies really work? What do you think? And de verdad funcionan los remedios caseros? What do you yes. think? Yes. yes. You say yes. Uh, many people say yes. And try these simple home remedies. Intenta los siguientes, los siguientes remedios caseros. And we have the illnesses. A cold, for example. Uh, what can you do for a cold? Uh, many people eat hot chicken soap. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. So look at this combination. Uh, hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. ¿Intentarían ese remedio casero? No. 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 Okay. Chile, azúcar, jugo de limón y leche. Probablemente le cure el, el resfriado, pero lo va a enfermar de otra cosa. <laughs> Any new vocabulary in this part? New vocabulary? New words? Um, many? Many, no. muchas. Many people, muchas personas. Oh. Yeah. How chicken soup. Clock. Uh, what is clot? What is it? Clot, clot. C-L-O-T-H. 
in cold cloth. And what about uh ah uh, también healthy shape? In the first paragraph, is it in the first paragraph? Está en el primer párrafo. No, eh, number three. Head, head, no. head, head, head. La palabra que dice la compañera Claude. Uh -huh. Oh, Claude. Head head about, Claude. What about headache? Ahí oh yeah. Oh, Claude, it um, un trapo, ropa. Put a cold cloth on your head. Un trapo frío en su cabeza. Ah, ok. So let's go with a cough. Do you have a bad cough? Drink warm tea or taste some honey. This can make your throat feel better. So, tome, ¿verdad? Té o algo de miel y eso le ayudará con su garganta se sentirá mejor. If you have a bad cough, drink warm tea and take some honey. It's that is common, right? That is common. The chamomile tea, cinnamon tea, té de canela, té de manzanilla, ginger tea, té de jengibre, and you are going to feel better. A headache. What about headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hand in hot water. This can help. Um, the first one is put a cold cloth on your head. ¿Han intentado eso? ¿Ponerse un trapo helado yes. en la cabeza? Yes. 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 Splash your face with cold water. That means splash is tirarse un poco de agua, ¿verdad? En la cara, agua helada. Splash your face with cold water. And the last one is, is, you can also put your hand in hot water. Puede poner sus manos en agua caliente. This can help. Habría que intentarlo. So put your hands in hot water. Poner las manos en agua caliente y se quita el dolor de cabeza. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Is, yes. ¿Qué significado tiene ahí la palabra warm? Warm. Warm. Uh -huh. warm. Yes, caliente, the, creo. Drink warm. Warm is cálido o caliente. So in this case, sería caliente. Tome té caliente o algo de miel. Gracias. Okay. And what about insomnia? Excuse me. Can you please repeat? Aquí cuando dice dry hot. No es caliente también. In which one? In which part? Another word for caliente is hot. Ah, por eso. Dice sí, caliente hot. es hot. Eh, también se pueden, son, el mismo significado tienen la todos. Yes, in this context, yes. Warm and hot. Cuando estamos hablando de clima, hot es caliente y warm es clima cálido. Siempre caliente, pero un poco menos que hot. Okay. And the last one is insomnia. Can sleep at night. Can sleep at night. No puedes dormir en la noche. Drink a large glass of warm milk. Or take a very warm bath. Then we can translate this word as a tibium. Right? Tibium. Can sleep at night, no puedo dormir en la noche, solo tome un vaso grande, a large glass of warm milk, de leche tibia, or take a very warm bath. Un baño muy tibio, and you are going to go to sleep very well. So question, any other question in this home remedies reading? Okay, if no question, that is what you are going to find in the midterm test. Es lo que van a encontrar en el examen de medio curso. And you have to solve the equation there. There. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No questions. No questions. Okay, then let's start with section number four. 
And the first topic is this, things people uh, have to do. Things people have to do. Hay algunas responsabilidades que tenemos, ¿verdad? If in our home, for example, you have to clean. Usted tiene que limpiar. You have to cook. Usted tiene que cocinar. You have to wash your clothes. Tiene que lavar su ropa. You have to take out the garbage. Tiene que sacar la basura. Right? ¿Verdad que sí? Usted tiene algunas yes. como obligaciones. Yes. ¿verdad? You have to yes. work. You have to work. Then, to say that, we're going to use this modal auxiliary, have to. How to use it? How to use it? Just have to when you think it is necessary to do something or you are obligated to do it. Vamos a utilizar este auxiliar cuando nosotros creamos que es necesario hacer algo o está uno obligado a hacerlo. Let's see, for example, I have to do my homework. I have to work tomorrow. She has to go to the dentist. He has to clean the house. So it is a kind of obligation ring. So I have to do, I have to, I have to do my homework. I have to work tomorrow. She has to go to the dentist and he has to clean the house. Él tiene que limpiar la casa. Pincher, siempre tiene que ir acompañado del tú. I have to. Yes. I have yes. to, para expresar, para expresar que hay una obligación de hacer algo. So, lo vamos a utilizar con la siguiente estructura, con los pronombres I, you, we, and they. We are going to use have to plus the verb. If we are talking about their person, which are he, she, and it, we are going to use has to plus the verb. En las terceras personas vamos a utilizar has to. Look at this example. She has to go to the dentist. Ella debe de ir. Ella tiene que ir. He has to clean the house. Él tiene que. En las terceras personas entonces vamos a utilizar has. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar don't have to? So look at the next. Uh, how to use don't have to in negative sentences it means that it's not necessary to do it significa que no es necesario hacerlo so I don't have to go to school on Saturday no tengo que ir el día sábado a la escuela they don't have to dance no tienen que bailar no tienen la obligación de hacerlo she doesn't have to go now Ella no tiene por qué irse en este momento. And he has, he has not, sorry, sería, he doesn't have to clean the house. Él no tiene que limpiar la casa. Then we use this. These pronouns, I, you, we, and they, vamos a utilizar don para decir que no es necesario hacer algo. Have to más el verbo. Si es tercera persona, he or she, and also it, we're going to use doesn't, doesn't have to. So let's look at this. And also, we are going to find interrogative sentences. Do you have to work on Sunday? And we're going to answer, yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she have to cook the dinner? Yes, she does. Or oh, no, she doesn't. Do they have to wash the cart? ¿Tienen ellos que lavar el carro? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does he have to wash his cloth? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. So to make a question, we're going to use this. The auxiliary do or the auxiliary does. Do lo vamos a utilizar con I, you, we, and they. Then have to plus the verb and the complement and the question mark. Like this, do you have to work on Sunday? Uh, who wants to answer this question? Do you have to work on Sunday? ¿Tiene usted que trabajar el día domingo? No. No. You, you say, no, no I, I don't. No, I don't. don't. No, I don't. Uh, do you have to work on Saturday? Yes, I do. 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 Y
Uh, do you have to cook the dinner? Do you have to cook the dinner? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have to wash your car? Yes, I do. No, I no, don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, do you have to wash your clothes? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Okay. Then, um, preguntando si usted tiene la obligación de, tiene que ir a trabajar el día domingo, tiene que hacer la cena, tiene que lavar su carro, tiene usted que lavar su ropa. Then you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Eh, si es tercera persona, utilizamos das. Does he, does she, does it have to, the verb and the complement and the question mark. So let's solve the next exercise. Eh, look at this. Top eight things people hate to do. Hay algunas personas que las cosas, que odian algunas cosas, algunos quehaceres. Let's see, for example, this. Stand in line. Do you hate this? ¿Odia usted hacer fila? Yes. 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 No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, it means ir a las reuniones. E exercise? Exercise. No, I don't. Do you hate exercise? Do you hate no, to? Yes, no, I yes, don't. I do. <laughs> and what about work in the yard? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Clean the yes, house. Yes, I do. Clean the house. No, do no I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes. No, I don't. And the last one is say open the mail. Yes, I do. No, Claudia say yes, I do. I hate this activity. Now let's see this. Make sentences explaining what Lisa and Tom have to do or don't have to do. So look at this. Aquí hay alguna lista de actividades. Activities that Lisa and Tom, some of them, Tom, have to do and others not. Right? So make a cake, for example. And you say Lisa has to make yeah. a cake. So Lisa has to make a cake. Tom doesn't have to make a cake. Do the homework. Both of them, right? Lisa and Tom, have to do their homework. Watch the card. ¿Cómo sería la oración número tres? Watch the card. Eh, Lisa. Mm. Lisa. Lisa has to watch the card. Ok, excelente. Sería Lisa has to. Lisa has to yeah. wash the car. Eh, no, it says, no, Ray, Lisa, no. Entonces sería, Lisa doesn't. Lisa doesn't have to wash the car. Quien sí tiene la obligación de lavarlo. Sería Tom, como oh, sería la oración. Tom, Tom has, has washed the car. Excelente. Tom has to wash the car. And what about walk the dog? Walk the dog. Pasear al perro. ¿Quién tiene la obligación de hacerlo? Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, Lisa has to walk the dog. Excellent. Lisa has to walk the dog. Y en el caso de Tom sería Tom. Tom has, uh, have, to, no, have That's, to, 
Tom doesn't have to walk the dog. Study history. Study history. ¿Quién tiene la obligación de hacer eso? Tom. Tom. Tom, Tom has to has to, has to study history. Okay, excellent. That is the right sentence. Tom has to study history. Set the table. Set the table. Eso es poner la mesa antes de comer. Set the table. Ninguno de los dos. <laughs> Any of them. Any of them. So Lisa and Tom don't have to set the table. And cut the grass. Cortar el pasto del patio. Cut the grass. ¿Quién tiene la obligación? Tom. Tom. Has to... Cook. The grass. Tom has to cut the grass. In tidy the bedroom. Tidy the bedroom. Ordenar el cuarto. Yes. Tom. Both. Half of them, half of them. Lisa and Tom had to tidy the bedroom. Very good. Then let's see, do you have to? Uh, let's see, I'm going to choose someone. Anayansi, do you have to take out the garbage? ¿Tiene usted la obligación de sacar la basura? Yes. Ah, do you say? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. Yes, oh. I do. Okay, let's go with Claudia. Do you have to clean the toilet? Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, I do. Okay. Probably esta sea la actividad uh, más difícil o que nadie quiere hacer en casa. Clean the toilet. <laughs> Um, wash the dishes. Uh, let's see, Sheila, do you have to wash the dishes? Quiero ver. Lavar los trastes. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Really? Uh, really. Cacerolas menos. Ah, okay. Menos las cacerolas. Uh, Yvonne, do you have to cut the grass? No, I don't. No, I don't. And let's see, Elizabeth, do you have to wear a uniform at your work? ¿Tiene la obligación de utilizar un uniforme en su trabajo? Do you have to wear a uniform? Elizabeth Aguilar. Yes, I do, teacher. Oh, yes, I do. And let's see, Catherine, do you have to feed the pets? Do you have ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? ¿Tiene usted la obligación de alimentar a las mascotas? Do you have to feed the pets? No, I, I don't. No, I don't. Eh, Miriam, do you have to clean your bedroom? Yes. Yes, yes I. I do. Okay, very good. I do. So, eh, Maria Luz, do you have to eat fruit and vegetables? No, I don't. No, I don't. Then, Victoria, do you have to take the bus to work? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, let's go with Balmore. Do you have to work on weekends? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ok. So, así preguntamos si usted tiene la obligación. Do you have to? Let's see the next exercise. Here's who wants to read the sentences. And the first one is today is a holiday. I don't have to work. I have a test tomorrow. I have to study. She has a toothache. She has to go to the dentist. Patrick can take the school bus. He doesn't have to drive to the school. They feel well now. They don't have to see a doctor. So in the first one, today is a holiday. Hoy es un día festivo. Then I don't have to work. 
no, no tengo que trabajar. I have a test tomorrow. Si usted tiene un examen mañana, ¿qué debe de hacer? And you say, I have to study. Yo debo estudiar. She has a toothache. Ella tiene un dolor de toothache. What is a toothache? Pies. Dolor de. De muela. Dolor de muela. Oh, entonces, she has to go to the dentist. Ella tiene que ir al dentista. Patrick can take the school bus. Patrick puede tomar el bus escolar. Uh, so he doesn't have to drive to school. Él no tiene que conducir hasta la escuela. And they feel well now. Ellos se sienten bien en este momento. Así que no es necesario que vean un doctor. They don't have to see a doctor. Any volunteer to read these sentences, please? Who wants to practice tonight? Me, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. One and two, please. Today is a holiday. I don't have to work. I have a test tomorrow. I have to study. Okay, the next two, please. Any volunteer? Anna. Thank you, Anna Maria. She has a toothache. She has to go to the dentist. Patrick can take the school bus. He doesn't have to drive to school. Thank you very much. And the last one, who wants to read the last sentence of tonight? That is the last uh, sentence. Who wants to participate? Anyone? It's the last sentence. This one. They feel well now. Anyone here to read the last sentence? Yo. Thank you, Carla Vanessa. They feel well now. They don't have to see a doctor. Okay, excellent. Do you have any question about how to use have to? Preguntas, do you have any question? Well, we are going to practice this conversation tomorrow. Or let's read this. What clothes do you have to wear for your new job? ¿Qué ropa tienes que utilizar para el nuevo trabajo? I don't have to wear a suit and a tie. No es obligación ¿verdad? que utilice una corbata o un traje. But I have to wear a white shirt and I don't have to wear jeans. Tengo que utilizar una camisa de color blanco y, un, ah, y no utilizar jeans. I don't have to wear jeans. And the last it says, you don't have to drive down this road. It's for buses only. Oh, sorry. No tienes que conducir en esta calle. Es solo para buses. Oh, sorry. Lo siento. Lo siento. Uh, to volunteers to practice this small conversation. The first one. Sure. Yes. Uh, buses. 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 buses, it's for buses only. Buses on, okay. For the first conversation, two volunteers, please. This is the last activity. Okay, Anna, Yancy, and... Any other volunteer? Anna. Okay, Anna, and... Ana Yancy and Ana Maria. Okay, very good. Ana Yancy and Ana Maria, please. Can you please start, Ana Maria? What clothes do you have to wear for your new job? I don't have to wear a suit and tie, but I have to wear a bright shirt and I don't have to wear jeans. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Um, no puedo ver. Okay, you don't have to drive down this road. road. 
It's for buses only. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Le, le robó ahí el oh, sorry. Okay, well, um, tonight we studied some, let's see, un repaso ¿no? de lo que fue el midterm test, lo que encontraron en el examen de medio curso. Uh, it was the going to, and uh, what's the matter, what's going on, the common illnesses, uh, and also the topic have to, how to use have to, right? que es un modal auxiliar y que expresa obligación, ¿verdad? algo que tenemos que hacer. Uh, then, it's, that's it for tonight. Thank you very much for being here with me. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Sleep well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night.